Hi, in today's video we are going to be folding children's pajamas using Marie Kondo's KonMari method. And I'm going to show you two ways of folding them. Uh, one way is the top and the bottom separately, and the other way is combining the two so that they are in one in a set. So we'll start with the top. I'm going to put it face down. I'm going to use the neck as our line of folding. The uh, smooth. Make this straight. Just use your finger to hold it there and down. Same with the other side. And then we take the bottom, we put it almost to the top, and then we do one or two, depending on your drawer shelf. This also works great for when you're doing hand-me-downs. Okay, so now we have the pants, that's the bottoms, and they are fairly simple. Conway method does help get rid of the avoid the wrinkles in the first place. So we're going to just line them up in half, smoothing. I'm going to put the uh, crotch area in so that it's a straight line, and then fold the legs to the waistband, but just below, because you already have enough bulk at the waistband, and then this will hold that in place. Smoothing. And then we're going to go, um, let's see, probably in half, like you do, and then half again. The smaller the item, the less folds you're probably going to be able to do. But here you have now a top and a bottom, fitting nicely into a drawer, on a shelf, or in that storage container. Now we can do it with both of them. If you were to fold them together into one easy to find set. I'm going to put top down. First time I'm doing this. I could probably let's see, fold this in half. Set it just below the neckline. Fold this side into your neckline. Smooth everything. Do your arms like you did before. Smooth it. Put that in on this side. Now, if you find, once again, remember this has to be tucked in. This would be a great stage to do it at. Don't go past your neckline unless it's a really wide scoop. too small. And you want this to go down there. And then you can fold the legs just to where the actual shirt bottom is without wrinkling it all up. Maybe put your hand there so that you have an extra finger length. Not a big deal if there's a little bit extra length. Okay. You don't really want anything sticking out, so you want it to have a nice rectangular shape. Bottom line, grabbing your all of it. Maybe you have a taller drawer that you wouldn't mind, but or then you could start with this. This is almost the same size as it would be in traditional folding, but this way it stands up on its own. Ta da! And you have one single item to pick up. One fold here, one fold here. Aha, that's the best way to do it. Leaving a space. And then that final fold. There we are. Now it is on a slippery surface and it's still staying up on its own, which means it'll work on a shelf 
and in the drawer. Here you have a set. Compact, nice and neat, tidy, easy to find. Hit like and subscribe, please.